It couldn't be a better group of actors to work with, as you can see, like, every day's a party, and... <laughs> Which, which not all the directors love when they first come on board. No, but everyone's very professional, so as soon as they say action, we're all, you know, very much prepared. But but it does, it feels like, if they feel like my family members at this point, and I will be devastated when the show ends because I won't be able to see them, you know, every day for five months of the year. So um, we were just hearing that you get some Twitter feedback if you say something unpleasant about Aiden. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How's the fan feedback been in general for you? It's been great. I was just saying, like, being part of a show on the Sci-Fi Network is, is fantastic because the fans are so dedicated and loyal, and as I was just saying over there, like, that's why we do this job. Like, at the end of the day, we're here to entertain, and, and that's the only reason we're doing this, and, and we're so fortunate to be able to do this because of the fans who watch the show. So so I love I love that you know the Twitter exists and that I, that we can have this direct um, conversation with our fans and answer questions and and, um, and just you know let them know that we appreciate them and that and that we that we're paying attention and that we you know that we're there and that we're human beings just like they are as well, you know? So we've been doing a lot of live tweeting the whole cast during shows. Yeah, That's we have. I think it's, we were supposed to only do it, uh, you know, for the first couple. But then it was just so much fun that every week, you know, we would just <laughs> end up live tweeting. So, yeah. One of those, there's not a lot of sweet moments on the show this year, but I thought the wedding was. Yes. And I talked to Sam about it. What was it like from your end? Oh, uh, I was so, well, first of all, I was so happy when I read the outline that Josh and Nora were finally going to be married. I love them together. Like, outside of myself, as a fan of the show, I love Josh and Nora. I think that, you know, they're, they're a great team. So, so I was really excited to shoot that scene. And as it always happens, the days... You know, we have so much to do in a day. Television moves very quickly. Most people don't realize that sometimes we only have an hour to do a very, like, a very important scene, and, and that's what happened with the wedding. We literally had, it was the end of the night, it was a super long day. We, we had one take. We got one chance to do the wedding scene, and that's why they did it, like, as, as a... As a st there was a camera that was, like, doing close-ups on us, and then they had a camera moving around us. And so... And in a way, it was then very organic and authentic because, you know, we just had to go for it and hope for the best. But it was, at the same time, so stressful and, and, I, and I, you know, wish that we would have had longer with it. But I think that it worked out beautifully as a result. Yeah. Well, I know now that he's a wolf again. Yes. How is that going to affect the relationship? Uh, things have <laughs> never been more challenging. It's like they just can't catch a break, these two. Uh, I think the writers were literally looking for the most like difficult boundary to put between them, and they really found it. Because Josh, yes, he's a month, he's a wolf for you know 29 days of the month, and then on the full moon he transforms back into a human, right as I'm about to turn into a wolf. So we have a half an hour together. So as I was saying over there as well, like our married life together has added up to being about an hour and a half. It's very lady hawk. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Very. And we may or may not reference that at some point oh. in the script. Uh, so, so yeah, basically, things have never been more difficult. But at the same time, you know, things are very passionate when we do see each other, obviously. And uh, and yeah, no, it's all, it's it's been very difficult for Nora. It's been three months. It's very much weighing on her. You know, it's kind of dire for her. It feels like it's got to be now or never. They've got to figure something out because. There's honestly no end in sight, and she doesn't know how she can go along like this. So, yeah, things are very conflicted at the start of the season, so it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Do you feel like uh, the, because Nora doesn't have family, we saw the relationship with the family. Yeah. Josh going through this, does she Those embrace, lovely she people. Aiden and yeah. Mother, because it seems like that's her adopted family, but now with this situation, it seems to be Yes. Uh, I'm so happy to announce that Aiden and, and Nora are very close at the start of season four because, again, talking about, the, about <laughs> Twitter, I got so, so many angry tweets last season. But even I, like, I when I first read the scripts, I was like, oh, no. I, I can't say this. People are going to hate me. Um, and so, I'm, yeah. They've been together for three months, trying to trying to figure out how to get Josh back. Also trying to figure out where Sally is, and so it's 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 obviously brought them together uh, in a big way, and they've really gotten to know each other. And so yeah, they're things are good with Nora and Aiden. Well, 
Well, Nora and Sally had a really cool relationship, yes. especially toward the end with the clothes and all of that. Yeah. Are we going to see some more of that this season? Definitely. Definitely more uh, girl power. Uh, yeah. No, and I love, again, like, it's, we have so much fun together as a, as a group, but it's, it's also so much fun now to get to just do scenes, just me and Sam Woodward, and just me and, and Megan. Uh, because I have more than enough scenes just me and Sammy hunting. <laughs> no, I love, I love, I love working with all of them. So, yeah. Well, I know um, Megan said she's going to be working with Amy again. Yes. Are you going to be doing some scenes with her? I sure hope so. Because uh, I, I love Amy. She, I thought she was such a fantastic addition to the cast, and I'm so happy to know that she's going to be back this season. So yeah, I really hope so. I feel like at some point I will definitely have to have a run-in with the witch again. <laughs> <laughs> you started the season digging up graves. Yes. And you finished the season with the, with the wedding. Um, have you had a chance to step back in the past season and say, man, what a journey I've been. Yeah, definitely. I feel like specifically season three was a was a huge journey uh, for Nora. And it was also really great to be integrated. You know, the first two seasons I did only eight episodes. First season, and then last season I did 11. And this season I'm doing all of them, which is great. So just to, you know, to be included in more of the episodes was so great. I did like the American Werewolf in London quality. It's like, you made me, man. You yeah. made me into this. I exactly. Like that. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Is she going deeper into the, the wolf persona? But... Yeah, I mean, the wolf is always there. Uh, um, I think in season three she found a really lovely balance because obviously, you know, in season two the wolf very much took over. And then in season three there was this lovely balance of... Um, human life and then still wolf life. Uh, and I think that in season four you'll we will see more as well of the primal wolf because you know Nora's very protective. Uh, it goes with the wolf territory, uh, that, that very primal instinct. And so it's never gonna go away. And especially now, you know, with Josh um, being transformed into wolf form and she's she's you know she's willing to do whatever it takes to get him back. So we can de- we'll definitely see, you know, more and more wolf action, for sure. Would that have anything to do with Amy? I, again, don't know. Hope so. <laughs> no, I really don't know that we'd have no idea beyond episode four what's happening. So, who knows? Only time will tell. Well, you know, it's been really... I feel like we're, we're very fortunate on the show, and we're in a very unique position, because they really do talk to the actors, which I have so many other friends who are actors, and that never happens. I, I feel like it's very unique to our show, where we'll get the scripts ahead of time, and then we will actually be able to make notes, and then we're and then we have you know a Skype call with the writers, and we're actually able to say this is great, or or question this, or just get clarity here, or, or even say you know what, based on something that happened in season three, would I be doing this, and could we possibly do this? So we do actually. Um, get the chance to contribute, which is fantastic, and I and I don't take it for granted because I feel like this is an exception to this show. That's an unusual thing. Have you ever oh, been is. in a show no, like that? Never, never, never. And again, like I say, I, I I could only hope that I will be again, but I I don't know if I will be because it's yeah. We have a very special special writing team, very special showrunner in that regard. Yeah. What would you like to see happen? Um, honestly. I would love to see her and Josh live happily ever after. I love Josh and many wolf babies. Many wolf babies as a fan of the show, as a fan of the show, and as a fan of, you know, as a stepping outside of it, like, you know, not being the actress. I I love their relationship together, so I hope that hope that things work for them, for them. And uh, but again, like it's so much fun to get to play the wolf and, and the darkness that comes with that. So I do hope the season four, you know, the show wouldn't be exciting unless there were those, you know, those dark moments and, and, and the challenging moments. So I hope that as well that I get to, you know, kick ass a bit. <laughs> um, yeah. Does the makeup transformation drive you nuts? Yes, but fortunately, I haven't had to do a lot of it. I don't know if it's that they don't want the woman to have, you know, horrible prosthetics on her face, but I've only had to do the fangs and the claws, which, you know, the claws still take an hour to put on. Um, But for me, it's that horrible scar on my stomach, (laughs) that burn scar from, you know, my ex-boyfriend that takes a long time to put on, a long time to take off. But, you know, I've had enough with with the prosthetics. Uh, But... But yeah, fortunately, I haven't had to do the you know three-hour application yet. Now yeah, that I say, say that's this. too loud. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so Thanks. much. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Enjoy the con. I will. It's my first one.